Especially in times like these, we believe that our music community is more important than ever. And that's why we wanted to introduce you to some of the fans behind your favorite fan accounts. Hey, I'm Paige and I'm a Demi Lovato super fan. for her after seeing Camp Rock back in 2008 on MySpace. 2011 came around and I saw her 2020 episode um, post rehab. I fell in love with her. I connected with her. I was just like, this is the person that I am going to just follow and admire and love. And um, yeah, so 2011 was the time that I considered myself a robotic. Connecting with people that are interested in the same things and that just understand you. Um, I remember going on there all the time and if I was feeling a certain way, I would post a picture, type the, this caption of my thoughts and my feelings and I would just get so much positive feedback and that was the greatest thing is building a connection with people that just get you and understand you. Yeah, I've seen her probably about 10 times. I've lost track and I'm just looking forward to her going back on tour. It's been about, oh my gosh, two and a half years since I've seen her. Uh, my favorite Demi Lovato song is definitely For You. I think I'm kind of known as the For You stan um, in the fandom. Um, when that song came out, it was just a song that I related to so much. In that moment, I was going through something so similar. The story behind the song just resonated with me and it really got me through some tough times, um, some breakups, you know, things like that. So that's my go-to song on top of the fact that when she performs it live, it's incredible. I can't even put into words how amazing she sounds. The Neon Lights tour, when I saw Demi on that tour back in 2014, it was at it wasn't an arena, it was in a theater, so it was more intimate. I was third row and I somehow managed to jump over seats and got right up to the front and she was just right there. There wasn't a barricade, it was just like me and the stage and I was like touching it and I, that was my favorite show. The energy was just incredible at that one. So of course I would love to see Demi again, but I think it would be amazing to see her with Ariana Grande and Miley Cyrus because by themselves they don't even realize like how much power they have but together I feel like that would just be the ultimate concert. I like looking around and seeing the people around me and you realize that you're there for the same artist and the same person and you just automatically connect with them. Even like before the show, when you're sitting down, I've made friends with people that are just sitting next to me. It's because you have something to talk about. You have something that you relate to and it's your love for that artist. And um, I feel like there's nothing beats that. Nothing beats having that real genuine connection with just a bunch of strangers. They don't even feel like strangers, they're like family. Yeah, um, I've met my closest friends that I talk to every day. We have group chats going. Um, the people that I can rely on most are people that I've met through Demi. I know that they won't judge me um, if for whatever I'm going through in life or if I'm dealing with something that I just need somebody to talk to. And um, I really can't thank Demi enough for that. I um, actually got a bunch of Lovotics together and we did um, a Lovotic Beach House. Um, this was supposed to be for her show in Atlantic City that was canceled before everything happened. There was, I believe, 12 of us. We all got together um, and pitched in and bought uh, an Airbnb for a couple of nights for the weekend to just hang out. We didn't even know each other before. Leading up to it, we would Skype every day and just got to know each other. We had a huge meet and greet um, with a bunch of Lovotics and we did like a, a tribute concert to her um, when she was in the hospital. And then, yeah, and I'm still friends with so many of these people today. So, and, and it's all because of Demi. We were in Atlantic City on the boardwalk and there was a stage and we had a meetup time. I, I just posted a picture on Instagram and it kind of circulated and on Twitter and 
anyone who was going to, to the show, since it was canceled, we still all decided to come together and we all were just singing her songs on stage. Um, so news outlets came. I was interviewed by E! News um, and iHeartRadio. It was crazy. It was like, we never expected that. We just wanted to, to show Demi love and just let her know that we were still there for her during a really difficult time. Oh my gosh, it's changed over the years. And I know it's not everybody's favorite, but it's definitely her self-titled album, Demi. Um, it just brings me back to such a good time in my life. Um, when I, that's the great thing about music is hearing a song and just it bring you back to a certain memory, a certain feeling that you wouldn't remember otherwise. I did dressing room with Demi and she came into a dressing room with, um, there was three other Lobotics there. We bought dressing room. She came in, she hung out with us for about 10 to 15 minutes and she signed stuff. We just talked and she wrote out my, my tattoo. So that's definitely my favorite memories, her writing out my tattoo for me. And just being able to tell her how excited I was for the show. And she's just so sweet. I would say, cause I've had people that have commented and have asked me, you know, like, should I start a fan page? And that would be something that I would highly recommend. And that's something I've posted about before. If you've thought about making a fan page, do it because it connects you to so many people that just understand you and that will have your back. Um, you're, you're a part of a family and um, having a fan page is just one way to connect with everybody and just kind of be a part of everything.